In my last update, I talked about how Mercedes-Benz um, announced what their implementation rate was going to be, which is 400 hubs by 2027. If you do the math on that, three years is 133 per year, or about two per week. Uh, 2,500 high-powered chargers in 400 hubs. That's about six stalls per hub, which is uh, what we're seeing. And um, there has been some sites opened, uh, so they're starting to make progress here. I don't know about the two per week rate, but uh, they're starting to pick up steam. The hardware are 400 kilowatt capable ChargePoint Express Plus dispensers with two 200 kilowatt power bricks per dispenser. Mercedes-Benz owners will have the benefit of doing in-route stall reservations. And right now we're in a bit of a valley of EV adoption. It's uh, decreased a little bit, but it's supposed to pick back up again. And um, by all accounts, there's going to be more EVs sold than there's DC fast chargers able to support them, which is a bit of a problem. And so Mercedes-Benz owners will be able to reserve stalls en route in order to ensure that they have something available for them and they don't have to queue up and wait in line. Site partners are Bucky's. There's 34 in Texas, 13 outside of Texas, with um, I think four more uh, under construction outside of Texas. Um, but if the goal is 400 hubs and there's only this number of Bucky's, with a November 9th PR um, Business Wire press release indicating 30 Bucky's locations, that means 370 locations are not going to be buc Bucky's. So the other partners are Simon Malls and select Mercedes-Benz dealerships. So 370 of those. And so far, I have not seen any spotted under construction. I've got a Simon Mall property kind of near my house, so I keep an eye on that. But I haven't seen anything and um, nothing on PlugShare that I've spotted. So uh, if you hear of anything, be sure to let me know. The sites that are open... Um, and the way this works, I do it from north to south, sorted by site hosts. So these are the ones that the dealers will fall into. And right now there is one at the business headquarters for North America. It's their um, marquee location. I'll show a picture of it here in just a second. Um, I also highlight anything that's new, and I sort it north to south. So Leeds, Alabama, on I-20 in between Birmingham and Atlanta, more on the Birmingham side. Robertsdale, Alabama, down near the Gulf Coast open on Interstate 10. St. Augustine, Florida opened uh, just yesterday, uh, which is north of Daytona Beach. And let me show you where that's at. Um, right here. <clears throat> so this is Interstate. This is Jacksonville, Florida. This is Interstate 95. And Daytona Beach is over here where the I, Interstate 4 meets up with Interstate 95. So this is where the Daytona Beach one is. It's kind of in there. I can zoom in. Um, but anyway, uh, St. Augustine opened just yesterday. There are two additional locations where the dispensers are energized. So these are likely going to either open this weekend or very soon. Uh, you can see on the screens, they're all lit up and ready to go. <clears throat> Basically, there's just cones on the parking space. So you just got to remove those cones and it'll, it'll start working. Um, there's also these locations that I have in strike-through mode. These are buckies that are under construction, but there's no sign of uh, electric vehicle charging. I'm just noting them as new buckies that are under construction. <clears throat> and, as, and here in Johnstown, Colorado, the buckies is actually almost complete, but there's no sign of any electric vehicle charging whatsoever. And apparently the way it works is the Bucky's opens and then they allow their partners to come in and do their builds. So like Tesla, Electrify America, Mercedes-Benz, those will all come after the uh, final permitting for the facility is complete. Uh, so we're, this is just here in order for me to keep an eye on them is all. The open location photos, Sandy Springs, the iconic um, canopy location um, north of Atlanta. St. Augustine opened just yesterday uh, on the Interstate 95 corridor. Leeds, Alabama, in near Birmingham. Uh, Robertsdale, Alabama, near Mobile, on the I-10 corridor near the Gulf Coast, open. Florence, South Carolina, I did a site visit video of this. That's Interstate 95 in the background. Um, I'll link that video down below in the description. I also did a site visit video of the uh, headquarter location, which I'll link down below. Royce City, Texas, open. This is east of Dallas, Fort Valley, Georgia, which is on I-75 south of Atlanta. 
Daytona Beach, Florida, which is off I-95 south of the St. Augustine. And these are the ones under construction. This is the new one in Fort Worth, which is west of Fort Worth, kind of near the airport. Athens, Alabama, this one's interesting. So YouTuber Alan Yates was kind enough to create a video of um, what this looked like under construction. Let me just show, because this is really interesting. Athens, Alabama is in northern Alabama. Let me zoom in here real quick and show you something. All right, so this picture showing the dispensers energized was taken on February 4th. We're here at the Mercedes Charge Point site at the Bucky's in Athens, Alabama. It's uh, January 20th of 24. And January 20th is when this video took place. So this is January 20th. This is February 4th. So these crews definitely have uh, their business cut out for them. They, they know what they're doing and, and they're um, taking care of business. It is, it is just getting done really quick. Look, the grass is all put back in. And um, in this video, you'll see five... Um, yeah, conduit for five locations. Only three dispensers were put in, so that means there's additional capacity for two additional ones. I'm going to link this video down below in the description, and uh, you can go and take a look at it. It's, it is interesting to see. You can see over here there's additional conduit for more uh, power bricks and a humongous transformer switchgear combo thing. So, very interesting video. I recommend uh, go take a look. I'll link it down below in the description. It's only uh, two minutes long. Crossville, Tennessee. Uh, this one is getting close to being completed. Uh, Transformer is in place. Uh, I have no updated photos, uh, but likely this is going to be done uh, pretty quickly. And this is Richmond, Kentucky on Interstate 75. They're still doing the uh, plaza work and the uh, conduit. Thanks for watching.